Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti, start of another fantastic week here at beautiful Gulfstream Park. We've got eight races to look at. We'll check out the track, we'll check out the weather conditions, and then turn it over to track announcer Pete Aiello. at Goldstream. Determined Fury and Aeronaut, the first two in the stride. Here's Scotty Brown moving to him at the rail. These three are quickest, two better than Zipline to Heaven, and the early trailer is the Wild Flyer. They race down the backstretch into the far turn. Jose Ortiz and Scotty Brown work to a length advantage. Aeronaut second, Determined Fury third. Zipline to Heaven is there fourth, and the trailer is the Wild Flyer. They leave the backstretch and move into the far turn. Scotty Brown leads by a half a length. On the outside, and Aeronaut second. Waiting in the wings is the favorite, Determined Fury. He's third. He's three lengths off the lead and now angling to the outside. Irad is on the go with the favorite as Scotty Brown tries to sneak away. Top of the lane, Scotty Brown turns for home on top by two and a half with an eighth of a mile more to get Determined Fury. Takes aim second, Aeronaut is back to third. Inside that final furlong, it's Determined Fury trying to reach Scotty Brown. Scotty Brown close to home with a clear lead. Scotty Brown is in front and Scotty Brown wins the opener. Second, Determined Fury third with zip line to heaven. Aeronaut is fourth. Then the Wild Flyer. American Matters begins quickly. Awesome Pudding moves to him and wears Joey is away in third on the flank of the top duo. Fourth is Abhar, fifth out wide, high yield kitten, then pride and passion, and the early trailer is Pacific Legend. Down the backstretch they go. It's Awesome Pudding on the outside, sticking a half length in front of American Matters, who's in hand while trying to save the rail spot. Where's Joey under the patented Paco loose rein while third? A length better than high yield kitten. Pride and passion between Abhar's along the rail. In tight and shuffled back is Pacific Legend. Around the far turn they go. Awesome putting by a neck. American Matters holds firm at the fence and kicks with him a length and a half better than Where's Joey, who's officially given the green light to go after the top duo. Five ahead of High Yield Kitten, then Pride and Passion as they run to the top of the stretch. Awesome putting has the lead, but now he's got challenges on either side. American Matters along the rail. Where's Joey on the outside? Where's Joey? Sweeping up to put a neck in front. Awesome Pudding fights back second, three back to American Matters. He's now third with an eighth of a mile to go. Where's Joey is even money, and Where's Joey is in front. That's where he is. He's widening on a three-length lead. Awesome Pudding is second behind Where's Joey, a handy winner. Awesome Pudding second, Pride and Passion third, American Matters fourth, and Pacific Legend in one ten and two.
And they're off. Bobbling at the start was Mr. Tito's. Good start for Benefactor, who's headed off for the early lead with Lusitano running with him. The gray blessed journey comes away in the top light. Financial system not far away. Hard Bell is on the far outside. Then back to Town Classic and out the back, the trailer is Mr. Tito's. Out of the chute, onto the main track, and in front, it's Benefactor, Bionek. Here's the favorite, Financial System, moving to him while second. Hard Bell is backed off to race in third. Mr. Tito's is on the far outside, and he's now into fourth. Lusitano, under a loose rein with Town Classic between horses, held up at the back is Blessed Journey. Quarter speed, posted in 24 seconds flat. Benefactor tussling with Financial System. Their heads apart. Hard Bell is third, Lusitano fourth, and still encouraged. Up to the outside, that's Mr. Tito's from between and Town Classic, and saving ground while still on a hold is Blessed Journey. 46 and 2 for a picked up half mile speed as they round the far turn. Financial System has the lead. Benefactor working harder to stay with him. Hard Bell's at a big price and gaining ground third. Four wide and Mr. Tito's held up in traffic town classic. Driven Lusitano and at the back but starting to move up a touch is Blessed Journey. They run to the top of the stretch with Financial System now a clear leader. Financial System to the top of the stretch leads by two. Hard Bell is second. Mr. Tito's is third. Blessed Journey on the outside. Then Town Classic and Lusitano with an eighth of a mile remaining. All about our financial system on the top end. Financial system clear and finding. Hard Bell trying to hold off Mr. Tito's for second, but financial system is a handy winner at odds on. He won by five in the end. Mr. Tito's up for second. Hard Bell finished third. Bless Journey was fourth in 135 and three. And they're off. Magniloquent quick off the blocks with Rufa Red Knot and Love and Make Sense. Away with speed. Our girl's worth it driving through at the inside. Then it's Devilly. At the rail goes Juno C ahead of Hard Rock Warrior. Getting started wide on the course. Masked Heroin with Nixon F. Always a party is very wide while trying to improve. And out the back, Gam Gam Joanne. Into the far turn they go. Jose Ortiz and Magniloquent have made the lead and got the rail. They lead a length and a quarter. Here's Our Girl's Worth It moving through inside of Rufa Red Knot to claim second. Love and Make Sense together with Juno C. Then it's a length and a half to Devilly on the inside and Hard Rock Warrior followed by Nixon F and they run for home. Magniloquent off the corner, still the target from the inside. Now room for Juno C down the center and Our Girl's Worth It. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Magniloquent under light and confident handling and finding plenty. Here's Here's Devilly surging forward on the outside. She's up into second. Juno C, then our girl's worth it. Magniloquent is in front by two and a half in the end. Devilly second, Juno C third, then our girl's worth it. And Z first for the high five. Porter off a step slow. 
Good start out wide for Rayo Colorado, who heads off for the early lead. Russian to win has speed. With that and pop today, here's Frosted Armor speeding through with the fence for Luis Saez. Frosted Armor to the top. Russian to win right alongside in second from between horses and Frolic Man. Outside in Rayo Colorado. Then it's a gap of two to spring the beast ahead of Hay Porter. And the trailer is rhymes like dimes. So the Sano duo are first and last as Frosted Armor has the lead. He went 22 and two to get there. He leads by length and a quarter, rushing to win second. At the rail, Frolic Man is now third. He's very much part of this. From the outside in Rayo, Colorado, then Hay Porter and Spring the Beast. Still out the back is Rhymes Like Dimes. Less than five sixteenths from home. Frosted Armor is in front. Now angling for racing room is Frolic Man to go after leader in second. The rail's going to open for Hay Porter, who's running on from the back. Top of the lane, 45 and three for the opening half mile. Here comes Frolic Man trying to get Frosted Armor. Frosted Armor digging deep. Frolic Man right alongside. These two with an eighth of a mile to go. Frosted Armor on the inside. Frolic Man on the outside trying to press past. Frolic Man has pressed past. Frolic Man will win it. Frosted Armor second, closer for third. Rushing to wins in a picture with an oncoming rhymes like dimes. Then Hay Porter, 110 and four. And they're off. Last in, first down, Laramar gets the first call, but Free to Fly has something to say about that. And Demo Wonder comes away in the top flight, driving through at the rail, Simplify. Then she's a happy girl ahead of Playera and Awesome Anne Marie along the rail. So long shot, Simplify and Gage Holmes on to take the advantage. Out in the center, Demo Wonder is racing on the hip of the leader while second. Third is free to fly. Fourth and she's a happy girl. Laramar has dropped back to fifth after the sharp beginning. Awesome Anne Marie and Playera at the back as they round the far turn. Irad Ortiz Jr. keeping Demo Wonder out in the center, trying to get her to relax and go after Simplify. She's doing both right now. Third is free to fly. Then it's a gap of four to Laramar. Outside of her and Playera dropping back, she's a happy girl. Awesome Anne Marie is last as Demo Wonder strides forward to take a clear lead. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Demo Wonder has the lead. Here's Paco on free to fly. White cap angles to the outside. At the rail and simplify. These three fan across the course. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Demo Wonder still has the lead. Simplify his game at the rail. Down the center and free to fly with a late bid. Final 16th of a mile. Demo Wonder edges clear late. Demo Wonder is in front. I think Simplify holds second over Free to Fly. That was a game run from the runner up in a minute 10 and two. Strategic speed. Some speed at two, but can carry it on through their later careers. Improbable. Full of run. Improbable. Now a grade one winner. It is a complete runaway. An authoritative run. It's improbable to win the Whitney. Wednesday feature. 
Love Her Lots was one of the first in to stride. Moving out the rail, Surreal Fantasy won't be far away. My Philly Twirl moves up on the outside, and Kitten's Collusion is between. Second last, Soul of an Angel, and Javier Castellano drops on alert back to last. She's only four lengths behind, and the lead is held by Surreal Fantasy. Surreal Fantasy and Junior Alvarado to the clubhouse turn. They lead while working off the inside, and that floats out my Philly Twirl. Saving ground is Soul of an Angel. She's up into a joint third now. Back to the inside and love her lots together with Kitten's Collusion, and on alert is last. 24 and 2 for the opening quarter. It's a reasonable pace on the front end. Surreal Fantasy has the lead by a length. My Philly Twirl latched on to her second. Soul of an Angel is at the rail third. Kitten's Collusion is in the two path fourth with the gray love her lots covered up and on alerts at the back. Less than five furlongs from home. Surreal Fantasy has the lead through a 49 and four opening half mile. My Philly Twirl is still an in hand in second with Soul of an Angel at the rail third. Love Her Lots has not asked for her best yet, nor has Kitten's Collusion, and still at the back is on alert. This will be a three-eighths of a mile dash for the cash as they round the far turn. It's Surreal Fantasy in front as the pace starts to lift. From the outside, My Philly Twirl is second, trying to gain ground as Love Her Lots. She's on the outside of uh, Soul of an Angel, who's toward the rail. On alert, meanwhile, given the green light, but she's not launching much of a bid yet. Surreal Fantasy getting out off the corner, and now things get wide open. Off the turn in the stretch drive, Soul of an Angel has come away with the lead. My Philly Twirl takes another run at her, and My Philly Twirl's up for the lead again. Love her lots down the center for a slice. It's my Philly twirl in front. Love her lots up into second. My Philly twirl in front. Love her lots second on alert third. Soul of an Angel ran well at a big number. She was fourth in 145 and one. And uh, they're off. Poor beginnings for Eagle Eye and Cactus Kitten. Good start for the race favorite, La Russia, who's headed off for the clear advantage from the outside. Emma and I have speed. The Gray Case Project won't be far away. Headstrong between is Bell's Kingdom. Next at the rail is Kentucky Pride on heels and on heels badly. They're just clipping heels as Eagle Eye, a real handful here for the Bug Girl as they round the first turn. From the far outside, it's Emma and I in between runners and English Charmer along the rail backstretch beauty. The two at the back are Cactus Kitten and Co. C. So she had to slalom through traffic to get into the clear, but Eagle Eye is now up to Badger La Russia for the lead. The opening quarter was just 25 and 2. Bell's Kingdom is a reined back third. Fourth at the rail, Kentucky Pride racing together with Kay's Project. Then it's a trio, Emma and I on the far outside, English Charmer between horses and backstretch beauty along the rail. Still at the back are Kosi and Cactus Kitten. They make their way to the half-mile part of the contest, and Eagle Eye works to a narrow lead. La Russia given some more rain to try to hold inside ground, and Eagle Eye is now committed for home. Her saddle might have slipped the touch, though. Way up high on the withers there is Eagle Eye's jockey as they round the far turn. From the far outside, Kay's project vacating the inside position was Junior Alvarado on Kentucky Pride, and she's on the go while in hand. Rallying from the back, Emma and I, no place to go for English Charmer. Winding up while wheeling out is Kosi. They fan across the course here, three quarters, 114 and two. Who do you like here? Kentucky Pride got first run and is clear. Down the center and Kosi from between horses, Emma and I. Eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Kosi, charging hard down the center. It's Kosi for the lead. Kentucky Pride is back to second. Kosi and Irene Ortiz Jr., they're in front. Kentucky Pride second, Emma and I third, then Cactus Kitten and Case Project to complete your high five in 144. Wow. And that takes care of Wednesday's action. We're just warming up here at Goldstein Park. Got a really nice nine race card on Thursday. Our first race post, 12.30 p.m.
Come out and join us if you can. Good night and good luck.